Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to read the number of meetings from the database. So now that we have uh, an idea of what um, Django uh, variables are, are or template variables are, we are going to take this up a notch and we are going to add more data. And now I'm going to show you how you can generate dynamic data within your HTML file. So I'm going to change this message variable. I'm going to change this entire paragraph and I'm going to say there are uh, currently now what it is that I'm actually trying to do, what I'm actually trying to do is to show all the meetings in our home page or on our home page. So I'm going to say there are currently uh, num meetings. I'm, I'm going to, we are going to come back to this variable. Don't worry about it. Num meetings, which is going to hold all our, all of our meetings, uh, meetings in the database the database so there are currently and now this placeholder will be replaced by a number for example there are currently two meetings in the database i'm going to save this now for this to work we need to change our views.py a little bit as well now where are our meetings they are stored within the models right within the meeting in the models so how can we import those so what i'm going to do is on top i'm going to say from um, meetings so meetings um, where am i so i'm going to say from meetings dot or my meetings dot models from meeting.models, what do we want to grab? We want to import the meeting class. Just save that. And if I come into the problem, it says pylands could not be resolved. And we know how we can resolve this. I'm going to provide type ignore for now. There we go. So we have inserted our meeting class from our models file. So within this meeting class, from here, we can extract all of the meetings that we have. How can we do that? Now, we know that this model class represents a table in our database. That's why we can do it. Now, there is a very cool um, pro uh, method. It's not a property. It's a method, and it is called dot .objects. Now, what dot .objects does for us is going to provide us with information about all of our data within the database and on this objects property the objects is property right it's an attribute uh, we have some methods available but the important one that we are going to take a look at in this lecture is going to be the count method so we have our return render request website slash home.html now instead of message we have num underscore meetings it's going to specify the number of meetings now that we have grabbed our meeting model which which actually represents our database we can say meeting dot objects this is the cool part dot count what this dot count is going to do is it is going to provide us or return the number of rows currently in the meetings table uh, which we can then pass to our uh, view function and the view function is going to show that on the um, on the web page for the user I'm gonna go over this concept one more time we have imported our meeting class from the models file uh, within the meetings package we have imported that and because why did we do that because all because this meeting class represents a database table what is the name of that table it's the same name as the model itself it's meeting so the name of the database table is meeting now we are going to grab the uh, ob objects attribute or property of these meetings and we are going to count how many meetings we have in there so let's save that and uh, now if i come in here and if i refresh the page you can see that it says there are currently two meetings in our database and why does it say two meetings we can take a look at that as well let's go into admin let's go to meetings there we go so we have we got meeting one and meeting two so how many meetings 
two meetings. This data is going to be um, very much um, uh, dynamic. How, how do we know it is going to be dynamic? Let's add another meeting as well. So I'm going to say um, web scraping. I'm going to say, I'm just going to say Python course exer exercises. And I'm going to grab it. Let's go to, I don't know, like 20 something. 2029 and I'm going to grab the universal cabin it's going to take four hours and I'm going to save that so now we have three meetings if I come in here and if I refresh the page because this data is dynamic it's dynamically being extracted from the database it is updated on its own that's it for this lecture see you in the next one